Well, good morning and praise the Lord. I'm Mother Gail Trailer, and this is Just In Case. Wow. It's May 5th, the Cinco de Mayo day. I don't understand Cinco de Mayo. I should look it up and find out what it's about. But praise the Lord, everyone. Hope you slept well. I did. Um, today's the day the Lord hath made. And I am going to rejoice and be glad in it. You ever have one of those days where you just don't feel like... Yeah. Well, it's a day to overcome, isn't it? Once again, I'm Mother Gail Trailer. It's May 5th. It is 9.09. .09. And a Thursday morning. There's so much to do today. And um, by God's grace, I'm going to do some of it. Today is my day for uh, recovery. What is it called? Celebrate recovery. And uh, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it in by the grace of God and be with my posse. I am still fighting a good fight. <gasps> Okay, trying to keep from um, spirit of depression, spirit of taking antidepressants, spirit of taking or using anything that will uh, uh, channel my depressions elsewhere. Nonetheless, I have a God and I have a little bit of faith. And this is one day, the 5th of May, that I'm going to call upon him to uh, operate in the spirit. Um, the Bible also says that uh, in my weaknesses, he is strong. And this is one of those days where I just don't feel like it. Got to work tomorrow night worked two nights this week. It was good. I enjoyed working. I enjoyed it. Hope you did. How's your family? How's the, the neighborhood? How are the kids? I hope they are well. Tell them I love them. Grandma loves them. Grandma Trailer loves them. Come on, pray with me and we'll open up the word and read uh, to enhance and to encourage our spirits. Okay, come on. Dear Father, we thank you for this day, the 5th of May. And we ask you, Lord Jesus, to be with us one more day, Lord. Forgive us, please, for all unrighteousness. Bind every doubt and all the fear that would uh, come upon us. Lord, loose the spirit of praise and thanksgiving. Help us to endure. Lord, your word says to stand. And that's what we have to do. We have to stand. Even when we don't feel like standing, we must stand. And we must trust in you. So thank you, Father God, for the opportunity you have given us to press onward and upward on this 5th of May. And we're asking these and other blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, what can I tell you? I did read about Hosea. And uh, that he was a good king. And I'll tell you all about him. I'm still doing some research on him. I still wish uh, I knew why generational curses skip a generation and go to the next and to the next? Is it because the generation before that has not uh, prayed and, and um, reminded the Lord of what he promised and what he told us to do? Is it because we have neglected to obey? Well... Whatever it is, 
in King Hezekiah's or David's, King David. in his reign, realm, during his realm, his sons and his sons and his sons after him, there were generations in which um, one ruler completely backslid and would refuse to obey commands of Moses. As a matter of fact, I found out that uh, the Torah was actually hidden for many, many years. There were generations that they hid the Torah. They would not even read it. When I say the Torah, it's a book that uh, was uh, dictated by God to Moses. And praise the Lord during Josiah's uh, realm during the time that he reigned as king um, he gathered those people together and he read the Bible hallelujah before them you see faith cometh by hearing and hearing comes by the word of God sometimes our faith is low sometimes our faith is higher and I hate to admit it but there are times when hmm, my faith is low. I like to think I was uh, gun ho every day. But there are some days that the best I can do is get up, pray, read the word, and go by faith. And as a matter of fact, isn't that what we do all the time? We get up. We thank God, we pray, we read his word, and we go forth. And he guides and leads us and directs us. Because we request his power, we, we are requesting his strength. Well, I'm going to read the 38th chapter of the Psalms, because I'm just led to. just feel like reading it. And I hope that you will listen and be blessed by the reading of the word. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy wrath, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. For thine arrows stick fast to me, and thy hand presseth me sore. There is no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. You ever get like that? You know you transgressed. You have sin on board. But, and it leaves you. There's no but to it. It leaves you. You know, you're not at peace. You're, you're, you don't have the the strength and the, the joy that you had before. Well, there's no soundness in my flesh because of thine anger. The Lord most likely was angry at this author, which was David. Neither is there any rest in my bones because of my sin. When we sin, there is no rest in our bones. Our, our conscious minds are uneven, uneasy. We become anxious. For mine iniquities have gone over my head and heavy as a heavy burden. They're too heavy for me. I've sinned so much that hmm, it's just too great for me. I can hardly bear it. Hmm. My wounds stink and are corrupt because of my foolishness. I'm troubled. I'm bowed down greatly. I'm mourning all the day long. Perhaps you didn't have anyone killed as David did, but there are still some sins that you know you are guilty of that you have not, hmm, you just don't feel good about. And uh, you know what it is to have God's uh, blessings upon you and his peace and his strength and his joy. 
David says, I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. For my loins are filled with a loathsome disease. Sin is a loathsome disease. It really is. And there is no soundness in my flesh. I'm feeble and sore broken. I've roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. That's, that's a, a remarkable verse right there. I am feeble and sore broken. I have roared by reason of the disquietness of my heart. Could it have been that he was angry outwardly because of his that horrible, sinful, um, guilty feeling that he held, held within him? Could it have been? Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. Mm, God knows. I want to do right. My desire is for thee, David says. And my groaning is not hid from thee. The Lord knows our hearts. He knows we want to do right. But we fail at times. My heart panteth for strength, faileth me as for the light of mine eyes. It also is gone from me. Hallelujah. When you are in sin, and and uh, we most most of us uh, do commit some kind of a sin during the day, or um, even at night, whatever, at work, at play, at wherever, we commit sin and don't know we commit sin, and our strength goes from us, especially when we know we have committed a sin. We want so much to be strong again. We want to be in right standing. And we just need God's help. We need his help. My lovers and my friends stand about from my soul and my kinsmen stand afar off. When you are uh, actively diso in disobedience, you're, you, the presence of God does not fill you or, or does not engulf you and, and make its presence known to others as it would on those days that uh, you are uh, walking as you should walk. Um, your sin becomes a sore displeasure, sore. It's, it's almost reeks of unrighteousness. And what comes from your mouth is what's in your heart. Unrighteousness. And you forget whose you are. Um, the 12th verse says, They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all day long. There are people that uh, do not like David in this chapter here. They seek after his uh, downfall. They're looking for him to, to give up so that they will have um, an excuse for what they're doing. Or, you see, David is a leader. And uh, leaders are watched. Uh, they're watched by others. We have um, significance. The Lord has used leaders in times past to glorify his name, to lift him up. And sometimes leaders become weak and they fall. Hello? Leaders. Moses. David. Even Hezekiah, the good king. Solomon fell. Uh... Who else is there? There's so many that have fallen because we are in this human state and we are in need of the Lord at all times, at all times. See, if he rested his Holy Spirit upon us all at all times and, and we always did right and always uh, uh, did righteously, would there be a need to have faith? I don't think so. Would there be a, na a need for the name of Jesus to call upon in our times of trouble? I don't think so. 
Hallelujah. But when we are faithful, unfaithful, when we are weak, when we are not strong, he's strong. That's why they call him the lover of our souls. Do you have confidence? Or have you gotten rid of your confidence toward him? Your confidence. You're confident in the Lord Jesus Christ that he which has begun a good work in you will complete it. Are you confident that uh, weeping endures for a night but joy comes in the morning? Are you confident that if you cast your care upon him, he will care for you? Are you confident in what he says? Especially that verse that says, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of salvation. That in you is the Holy Spirit that will help you to endure those times when uh, you are physically weak or emotionally weak or in despair or, or when an uh, attack of fear or doubt comes upon you. Are you confident in him? Well, David was. He didn't care whether his uh, enemies uh, were looking at him or not. He kept his focus on the Lord. He kept his eyes on him. He kept his heart attuned to the Lord, which meaning even when he was weak, the word says that then I'm strong, you know, in my weakness, I'm strong because of him that dwells within us, because of his power. Then David says, but I, as a deaf man, heard not. I was as a dumb man that openeth not his mouth. Thus I was as a man that heareth not and in whose mouth are no reproofs. For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. In other words, they had he had mischievous things and um, hurtful speakings and judgments against him by those in the world. And uh, they imagined deceitful things about King David and probably spread it around that he was um, he was a an adulteress that he had someone killed, that he, um, his household was full of chaos, and it was. Um, but as a deaf man, he didn't hear what the naysayers were saying. He didn't speak to, to refute the lies and the ugliness of rumors. Okay, he didn't open his mouth. He was as a man that heareth not, David says, and in whose mouth there's no, I will not re, be a rebuttal against what you say against me. I have nothing to say. He said, for in thee, O Lord, do I hope. He projects his eyes to the Lord, to him. And thou wilt hear, he says, O Lord, my God. But I said, hear me, lest otherwise they should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, they magnify themselves against me. And your foot does slip from time to time, saints. Oh, yes, it does. You don't have to uh, declare it to anyone. Your foot slippeth just like mine slippeth. Yeah, the foot slips. But look what David did. He said, I hope in God. Okay, in that 13th verse of the 38th chapter, it says, For in thee, O Lord, do I hope. My hope is in God. For I'm ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. And I'm ready to stop right here. For I will declare mine iniquity. I will be sorry for my sin. But my enemies are lively, and they are strong, and they that hate me 
wrongfully or multiplied. And even if you do not have physical uh, presence of people uh, speaking against you or you do not hear the um, the many um, hmm, envious and jealous reports of uh, those who are frenemies, even if you don't, David says, that his enemies were strong, and they are. They hate him wrongfully, he says, and they're multiplied. I always notice that before a, a blessing, there is a, tr a testing and a trying. Um, sometimes, if you are not careful, you will be out of. You will not be in the right place to receive your blessing. But David says, they render evil for good. And they're my adversaries because I follow the thing that is good. He asked the Lord in the 21st verse and 22nd, Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. See, this is worthy of mention. You may be going through a, a test or a trial. You may be... Uh, may have uh, made mistakes. You may have gone the wrong way. You may have um, caused the Lord to even be angry at you. You may have. But what blesses the Lord and what uh, gives the Lord joy is that you go to Him with your problems and with your issues, with your sorrows, with your sadness, with your sin, and confess them, and keep your eyes on God, and of course ask Him for strength to help you to turn, and then you come to Him and plead, Forsake me not, O oh Lord, my God, don't be far from me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord of my salvation. Help me. I need help today. Do you need help today? I need help today. I'm not uh, what I should be, and uh, I need help today. I don't have the strength today. I don't have the courage. I need help. I am anxious. I am fearful. I... Uh, uh, sometimes do things before I should or don't do whatever whatever there are times that you must ask God for help and uh, that's exactly what I do that's what exactly what I do this is the day the Lord has made I'm gonna rejoice and be glad in it why because I have hope I have hope in his word I have hope for every minute of this day that he's hearing my cry, that he's directing my path, that he is blessing me along this way. May God bless you and keep you. And may his uh, uh, strength rest upon you and courage and his peace. And um, I remember to talk to him during the day. He's available. He's available. Ask him to show you which way to go, what to do, and how long to stay. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and this is just in case. Just talking to you, that little bit of time made me feel so much better. Hey, everybody. God bless you. Laura, God bless you on your trip. Uh, the McCoys. Um, Laura. Brandon, Mark Brandon, Pastor Foshe, Pastors Foshe, uh, Nick and Deborah, Pastor Adams and Cynthia Adams, God bless you. Fight on, fight on, fight on, fight on. Press on with God bless you. I am a, I'm a little person. I don't have a lot of strength. I don't have a lot of, you know, 
leadership or telling people what to do. Could you imagine the battles that they undergo while they're standing before the millions of people day and night lifting up the name of Jesus? They're like you and I. They don't feel good sometimes. Sometimes they're uh, perturbed or maybe they've made a mistake. Let's pray for our leaders, even for President Biden. Pray for our leadership. Keep your eyes on the Lord, though. I'm just passing through.